James Shug there from Westpac. If you're looking at applying for a job right now within the financial sector, there's a bit of a rat race going on out there. We can probably assume that from everything we've heard out of the sector and the big job losses that we've seen. New figures suggest there are 60% fewer accounting and finance jobs available than there were this time last year, but the same number of people, in fact, applying for them. Let's get a bit of insight into the labour market at the moment with Simon Bolton from Aquilus Consulting. He joins us now in the studio. Simon, thanks very much for your time no coming to the studio. Talk, you focus on the job versus applicant ratio, mm -hmm. so I, I guess it's in some ways self-explanatory, but just give us a sense of what you're looking at at the moment with that, in the, the finance and accounting sector, which you specifically focus on. Well, what we did is compare last year what figures we had responses to our advertisements. So in 07, 08, we were posting around about 70 or so uh, positions, and we had around about just over 1,000 applications for those roles. Okay. This year, it's been 35 vacancies that we've been advertising and in response to those we've had about the same number of candidates so around about 1100 candidates applying. How do you expect that to shift in the, the next year or so because we've seen big layoffs from the, the major accounting, uh, accountancy firms, all the brokers, uh, the various banking sector, we know that there's been job losses so how do you expect that to translate into the figures that you watch? Um, I think that the job market is going to be more competitive, so by virtue of there being fewer opportunities around and more people to apply, particularly as these layoffs and redundancies continue, people need to be looking much more closely at how they're going to seek another job. Um, they really need to be focused on their job search techniques and how they can prize that job out of what is an increasingly smaller market. There are jobs out there to get? You said Absolutely. 35, so half this time last year, potentially. Absolutely. But, but um, clients of ours are, are still hiring. Um, we have still got candidates that are coming to us looking for roles and opportunities. So I think that whilst there's been some very hesitant hiring, um, there are still positions that need to be filled and we're working on a lot of those with our clients. Specific areas where, the, where there's vacancies or is it one particular area or...? Um, in the accounting and finance world, it's probably most marked in the risk areas. So okay. risk management has been something that clearly now organisations are really having mm. to focus on. So the areas of risk management and even compliance have been areas where we've seen actual growth rather than decline. What about the mood of people out there looking for jobs at the moment? Do they feel uh, a bit defeated in that they're hearing of so many job losses yet they've got to be out there looking? Or what do you sense? It's, it's very tough, I think, for job seekers at the moment. There is so much bad news, um, there is so much doom and gloom. Mm. Trying to remain positive is, is very difficult. And I think that's one of the things that's most important to job seekers at the moment, is being able to put those difficulties behind them, demonstrate to employers what they can do to work to the best effectiveness during those times, and also to notice that this is a cyclical event. Mm. There is an upside, this isn't going to continue forever, and people, I think, need to remind themselves of that as well. I mean, do, should be, people be realistic and looking at retraining? I mean, what, what's your advice to people finding it tough? I think during this sort of period, um, individuals can look at reskilling themselves. Um, people are attending more courses, yeah. people are attending more training, and I, I guess they're trying to gain some more qualifications during a period when they perhaps aren't as busy in their current role. So are there people that need to reinvent themselves? There probably are, um, but I think it's more about people being able to assess where they've got to, how they've got there and what they're going to do next. flip side of this, of course, is uh, for the employers yep. because they face uh, challenges just as the employees do in this environment. Mm -hmm. What, what is, should be their focus in this sort of environment, in this fin finance and accounting space that you watch? I think there's, there's a nervousness and people are worried about their jobs at the moment um, and that means that productivity and effectiveness can really be really be impacted. So really at the moment I think it's a case of leading rather than perhaps only managing and reminding people that there, there is bad news out there but at the same time as um, Westpac were just saying there are good news articles out there as well. And yet again we're just chatting with Westpac that the lack of visibility how can a company be so confident to come out and say yeah we're going okay and know that they will continue to be okay because things, things change quickly. They do and I think that's where there's this hesitancy and this nervousness mm. that's really underpinning the market. Our feeling is that there are jobs that need to be done um, and that often organisations at this stage are just questioning in much more detail why they should and how they should actually approach those vacancies. Staff retention, how much of that uh, is an issue for organisations right now? Do they need to worry about that as much? Um, do people just hang on and thank, thank goodness for the job sort of thing? There is a, I think there is a sense of I've got to hold on to, on to what I've got at the moment. But I think most important for employers is um, maintaining this positive environment where 
things are going to come to an end and where people can still develop and grow their careers within the organisations that they're working. Just as sort of an interesting aside, mate, what about the recruitment industry right now, which you work in, obviously? How tough is that? It's a very challenging market for um, recruitment firms at the moment, and I think it's only going to get tougher. Um, so it's during periods like this that good organisations, strong organisations, and organisations that can adapt quickly to the changing market conditions are the ones that are going to come through. I think where, where there's going to be fallout will be organisations that have perhaps only recruited through the boom times that we've had, and through organisations that have been not able to match clients' needs. They've been working off large preferred supplier agreements and really putting CVs to job vacancies more than actually consulting. Simon Bolton, thanks so very much for coming in. Aquilis uh, Consulting, appreciate it. Thank you, Brooke. All right, Simon Bolton there. Let's uh, quickly check.